Hi guys, welcome to video number 12 um, in the series of videos um, I'm doing on the Canon EOS 500D T1i Kiss X3. Um, I'm going to start going through the other side of the mode down now, um, starting with program mode. These are um, some of the more advanced shooting modes on the mode dial. Um, so you may well see some differences in what control we have over what settings, um, exposure settings and so forth for the camera and um, customization options as well in the menu so we'll cover those so like I say first up is the program mode um, which is signified by the P um, on the mode dial which is just in between the creative auto and the shutter priority or TV mode so we'll have a look at program mode now okay here we are with the camera powered up and it's set currently in program mode, um, as I said before designated by the P on the mode dial um, what you will find in program mode, I mean as it suggests it allows you to program um, more settings into the camera um, it's similar in terms of what you can program to um, shooting modes like aperture priority because uh, what it will allow us to do is using the um, roller dial uh, on the front of the camera just behind the shutter button uh, we can change the aperture which you can see the f f stop changing there this will vary in terms of the range you've got depending on which lens that you've got fitted um, the camera makes the calculation on what shutter speed to use we can't change that but one thing that we can do is by pressing and holding this AV plus and minus button here sorry I don't know if you can actually see that uh, we can change the exposure compensation so we can dial it down um, in third of a stop increments um, down to minus two stops or through up to plus two stops um, should you wish to um, also in program mode um, we've now got more control um, over the rest of the settings of the camera including ISO which is the sensitivity um, used to be referred to as the film speed in film day so if we press the ISO button which is just behind the roller shutter at the top we can now actually change the ISO value um, that we want to use so if we're shooting something that may be um, in quite a dark place and we find that the shutter speed that we're getting isn't quite fast enough even with the lens wide open then we can up the ISO um, to compensate and it goes all the way up to ISO 3200 there are two additional high modes which you need to unlock in the custom menus which we will cover in later videos Okay, now we can also change by pressing set um, on the picture quality again the picture quality shooting mode and um, well, we've seen that in previous videos I'll leave this one on raw um, also uh, we can change the auto focus mode by pressing this button here the AF button so one shot AI auto focus AI servo mode which you would do for shooting birds because it constantly tracks um, the subject white balance as well we can now change which we haven't been able to do in the previous auto mode so we've got auto white balance um, daylight and it gives you the approximate um, temperature color value as well shaded area cloud tungsten light which is what this um, these videos are lit by so tungsten light usually it's indoor um, or incandescent light so um, desk lamps and so forth fluorescent tubing, stuff, lighting that you'd find in offices flash for when you use flash or we can set a custom white balance as well um, I'll cover white balance in a separate video I think actually um, to do it justice ok now we can also change the drive mode so we can either shoot single shot multiple bursts or continuous shooting self timer which is 10 second countdown, self timer 2 seconds, self timer 10 seconds with 2 consecutive shots after that countdown and um, you can change that value as well ok now if we press this bottom button sorry I keep covering it up, if you press this button down here at the bottom this is the picture styles so now we've got far more options than what we had in the previous uh, uh, <coughs> automatic modes so we've got standard portrait and what you'll see that's changing here is the brightness and the contrast values um, that are applied landscape, neutral, faithful, monochrome and user defined you can set three customized ones there should you wish to 
Now if we go into the full menu and what you will see here we've got the usual functions setting the date and time, LCD brightness, auto power off states, the settings that we've seen in previous menus. Um, again you can change the metering mode, um, custom white balance and so forth as well. Um, the metering mode now that we can change will allow you to do evaluative where it takes a look at the whole scene, partial where it looks at part of the scene that you're shooting, spot metering where it uses about 4% um, of the metering system so it's that small dot that you see through the viewfinder um, so if you want to be very particular where you meter from and center weighted which takes a center average reading of the scene and uh, well, if we go over to the far right now you'll notice that we can get into the custom function menus and um, which again I think what I'll do is I'll cover those separate because there's quite a lot of sub menus within there it tells you which firmware version that you've got and there's also custom um, or user menus if you like. So these are quick access um, customizable menu options that you can set. So based on what you most commonly use on the camera you can have listed here. And we'll cover those again. Now also what it will let you do is if you hold this button here um, which has got the star just above it on top of the camera you can lock the exposure. So once you've got your exposure that you want you can actually hold that down or press that and it will lock the exposure and then you can recompose focus and shoot and without it uh, re-metering and changing the exposure if you hold the one just to the right here which has got the magnifying glass plus beside it it allows us to select the auto focus point automatic will do as, as, you, as you may well imagine automatic if we use this um, roller dial here we can change which auto focus point that we want active and for it to use to focus within a scene so quite handy say if, you, if you're shooting a close up head and shoulder shot in the portrait and you want to focus on an eye depending on where it is in the frame and you can select the correct one or you can choose the center auto focus point there Oops. So I'll set that back onto automatic so as you can see it gives you a little bit more control than the previous options and that's just a quick video on the program mode uh, on the Canon EOS 500D T1i and KISS X3. If you've got any questions then by all means ask and I'll uh, see if I can answer them for you. Cheers, bye.